Hello my lovely lads and ladies and welcome to a brand new series, Doki Doki Literature Club. I've been told to play this game so I'm gonna play it. I don't know what it's about except there's four very pretty girls on the front who all look the same but with different hair and eyes. Like if you just circle the faces, they're like the same face. That's so weird. Let's go. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbour and good friend, since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long? No. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. Can I stop waving my arms now? Ow. More and more frequently and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <sighs> I overslept again, but I catch you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. <laughs> you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Cookie. Oh, they know my name. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Wait, wait, am I a guy or a girl in this? Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students, making their daily commute. By the way, Cookie, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? Ugh. I told you, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. Yeah, that's basically me. I haven't been looking either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. I can't do her voice with my eyes open. Sorry, guys. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on. I sound like such a dick. I'm sorry, but I do. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending doing my free time on games and anime. that This is literally me, I'm sorry. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. She's so crushing on me. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years. What the fuck is a neat? What the? Because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises there. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. Oh, I wish those were my days. They just drag on. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realise I'm the only one left in the classroom. God, I am fucking oblivious to the world, aren't I? I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. 
I'm not. You don't need to wait up for me if it's gonna make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... You know what? Well, that you could come to my club! Oh god, she's such a pushy friend. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> Mimi. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That makes sense. I mean, you know, you're, you've got a president, someone shows interest, you get a vice president. You don't need qualifications or skills or any, uh, anything else. Just You just turn up and you're a president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Uh, well... I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. Uh, and Natsuki make cupcakes and everything. Oh, fuck's sake, this girl. Stop screwing me over. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep! I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! Oh my god, she's so annoying. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I would I would do that in real life. This I found that, that nice cupcakes. I deject de dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generously used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member! Huh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Why is she so posh? Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. I'm a boy? Oh my god. Oh my god. The things you learn. Way to kill the atmosphere. I have not gotten this many female voices. Cookie, what a nice surprise. She can be a robot. Welcome to the club. All words escaped me. I mean, why am I in a girls club? This club, it's full of incredibly cute girls. Damn straight. I'm gonna get laid. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Uh, sorry? That's okay. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognise. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a f her small, um, figure, yeah. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can... you can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. I literally can't even remember their voices already. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature, uh, mature, yeah, yeah, very mature, and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Yes, very, very mature. <laughs> oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Kuki. She's definitely just a robot. I can't have another voice, so... Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we are in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athlete, definitely a robot. Basically, completely out of my league. 
So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Boing. You, you too, Monica. This is so weird. Come down, Kuki. We, we made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or my... Obviously, Monica. I'll get the cupcakes! Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh, whoa! <laughs> I taped out that voice. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Oh, that's so cute. I like it already. It's a shame she's uh, not quite mature. <laughs> oh, I thought he would say it without it. so red. <laughs> oh. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to- I'm getting really red. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one! Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori walks with her mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. Sounds so bad, right? I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavour. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. What? Why are you thanking me? It's, it's not like I... <laughs> Haven't I heard this somewhere before? M made them for you or anything. Aw, she's blushing. You're so sweet. Eh? I thought you technically did, Sarah. You said... Well, maybe. But not for, for you, you know, you dummy. Aw, she's so cute. All right, all right. Aw, she's all shy. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcakes tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? No, I, I like Monster. Advertising. Ah, uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Wait, wait. Monica's the robot, isn't she? Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh? That, that's not... Insulted. Yuri looks away. Aw, Yuri. I, I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I don't. I'm, I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself and I feel like I must be such an attractive man because even as a woman this does not happen to me in real life. Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. So, what made you consider it the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet and Sayori seemed pretty happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. <laughs> Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, you know... To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the bublet, the budget, and public, 
and publicity and how to prepare for events.